Composer now has barcoding capabilities built right into it and can be used with auto number or auto text. So for this example, we'll start with an auto number example. We'll have our pound sign one in there as our auto number denotation. Then we'll go into repeats and merge. And we'll set up a simple example where we'll create 16 individual auto number examples. We'll create a starting value of 3 and an increment value of 2 and ending value of 33. And in this case, we're just going to generate auto text just to give an idea of auto text. Now we're going to show our reaction dialog box, go back into repeats merge, click on the auto number tab, and we're simply going to click on a, a checkbox generate as barcode. Now we're going to go into the barcode properties tab and choose the type of barcode symbology we'd like to use. So in this case we'll just do a code 39 or code 3 of 9. We'll, re we'll generate that and there are our barcode results. Now my results are a little bit close to each other so I just want to increase the amount of space between them. So I'm just going to go back into my auto number tab, into my repeats tab, and increase the amount of gap between my barcode results. And there it is. So barcodes are nicely and smoothly integrated into existing auto number and auto text functionality.